the country has recorded a 50% drop in the value of mergers and acquisition in the first half of this year after COVID-19 threw investors into a spin. Latest data on acquisition and mergers show that there were 15 deals in half year ending June this year valued at 13 billion shillings. The Competition Authority of Kenya further predicts increments in joint ventures in the coming months, especially in the aviation and e-commerce sectors. Kenya has long been considered East Africa's dominant investment hub, attracting some high-value mergers and acquisitions in the last few years. However, the COVID-19 pandemic appears to be taking the shine off Kenya, with the number of M&A dropping by 51% to 13 billion shillings between January and June this year. 12 of the 15 deals in the first half of 2020 were cross-border transactions. Bujagali Energy Limited's 4 billion shilling sale to Jubilee Holdings was the highest outbound cross-border transaction of the period, while Commercial International Bank's Egypt acquisition of Mayfair Bank for 3.5 billion shillings was the top inbound cross-border deal. According to the Competition Authority of Kenya, for inbound cross-border deals, the focus was on media and entertainment, with three deals, as well as the financials, retail and material sectors, recording two deals each. There was one bound transaction which had the highest deal of all cross-border deals. The authority says it expects margins will increase where dominant firms acquire upcoming competitors, more so in the digital economy. The watchdog has so far processed about 45 mergers and acquisition deals in the financial year 2019-2020 and expect the number to remain the same in the current financial year. In the sub-Saharan African region, mergers volume decreased 24% to 254 deals compared to 338 deals for the same period last year. Total value of M&A deals was down 56% to $6.8 billion in the first half of 2020 compared to $15.3 billion in half year of 2019. Majority of deals in the first half of this year were cross-border with 160 transactions totaling to $4.8 billion.